Welcome back, everybody, to 70 today. I'm Alpha 21. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Apocalypse Ranger series. All right, so bring you back for an update on the Horde base build here. So I have the base of the four towers built up to five blocks high now, and they are solid steel all the way up. Um, and the reason I did solid steel is because, of course, these are the the bases uh, of our of our towers and I just wanted to pretty much uh, virtually guarantee that there's just no way on a single horde night you know with us being able to jump back and forth across all four of them that they could take one of these towers down certainly is possible but based upon the way I'm planning on using this uh, base it's extremely unlikely that that would happen uh, so we you know we we have a pretty a pretty firm foundation we'll say um, there is no way uh, that I'm going to complete the this build in its entirety by day 70. So we're going to do um, we're going to do Horde Night down here in a um, you know kind of a makeshift <laughs> fashion, if you will. Excuse me um, for Horde Night 70. Okay, so let's see what else I've done. I I, I'm, I built the the tunnel, the return tunnel here. So it's two blocks wide, three blocks high. Uh, plenty of room for the zombies to cycle back up to the top or uh, cycle down uh, because they'll actually be coming down this on 70 uh, to get to us most likely. Um, so I got this finished and I got the, um, like I said, I got the, the bases done. I did a little bit of work out here too, you know, to kind of level this out. I'm planning on doing something like this pretty much all the way around the perimeter. But I'm just mostly focusing on the stuff that's necessary to get us ready for um, Horde 70. And uh, the other thing I need to do is I still need to go out and do quite a bit of salvaging uh, so we can make a bunch of grenades. Okay. And just this bit that I've I've done already, uh, we have we have 12. We have 12 XP points. I mean, the XP is just coming like crazy. So um, we're going to do, we're going to go here and we're going to get fortitude completely maxed out. We're going to get machine gunner completely maxed out, which means we can now use our purple M60 and, and add that to our arsenal and have maximum effectiveness with it. And um, we're going to get pain tolerance completely maxed out. And then when we get the next point, we'll get healing factor maxed out. And then after that, um, after that, it's kind of just whatever. I think I've pretty much put points into everything that I feel is essential to what we need. And then anything else after that will be, you know, just kind of extra points or freebie points. Uh, I'll probably put some points into well insulated, you know, stuff like that, and probably better barter too um, as they continue to come. And believe me, they're going to continue to come, uh, those points are. Okay, so to get ready for Horde 70, um, let me put a couple of things in here. I had to go out and cut a bunch more wood. Oh, I guess that's all we're putting in there. That's right. We, <laughs> we don't have a lot of room in there, do we? Okay, so let's head on down to the Horde base here. So, the first thing I think I'm going to do is let's create some ladders. Um, I'm just trying to think here for a second. Okay, yeah, let's create some, make some ladders here. And we're going to, that's all we need to do to get up there with our parkour. Yeah, so let's just do two ladders to there. There. Okay, so now we can easily get up on any one of these towers. If we don't, if we happen to miss the jump a little, by a little bit, we have some ladders to kind of catch us and uh, we're gonna go with that okay we need to get these ladders upgraded to steel they may not ultimately stay here but 
we can't take the we can't take the chance of demolishers explosions blowing them up either. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now, Ford Knight 70, we're basically just going to fight the horde on top of our little towers here. Um, and they're going to be running around down there, and we're going to throw grenades on their head. It's it's going to be very, very simple. Um, and, you know, it's not... Because uh, I don't really have time to do, you know, much of anything more at this point with it. Um, but what we're setting up is, is going to be temporary. It's not going to stay this way forever. So what we're going to do is let's grab our, our blocks here. And we are going to create ourselves a, um, yeah, I think we're going to do, we're, we're going to create ourselves a, like a canopy, if you will, um, because of, of vultures. And I think I'm going to make that three high. And then after the Horde Knight is over and we pr uh, we commence the build, I'll just fill all of this in. Okay, so let's go one higher here, one more higher. And... Come across this way. We'll have to test and see if we still have enough clearance to make the the jump. Yeah, see, I think we're going to need to do something a little different there. What we could do is continue to do it this way, but leave gap there. Maybe like that high. <laughs> we're still we're, we're still hitting our head on that, aren't we? Okay. What if we uh, let's let's just go higher. I mean, why not? There's no we're we're taking the thing to the to the top anyways. Just try that one. There we go. Okay, so that gives us enough clearance to get through there. And then we're just going to fill in the top of this. And I'm going to just, you know, make all of these concrete. Now, I'm not going to go concrete. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not going to go steel beyond... Um, yeah, I guess we need to make some more blocks. Beyond the first five blocks, um, everything all the way up until we get to the surface will now just be concrete. Uh, just because I know it's certainly possible for a demolisher to explode partway down, but I don't think that's going to happen very often. And um, that that would just be such an enormous amount of steel, uh, you know, to, to do it all the way up. So I think we'll be fine with concrete for you know the the middle of the tower until we get to the top and once we get to the top um you know then we're gonna all we're gonna go back to steel again because we're gonna have to deal with cop spit and possible demolisher explosions that sort of thing um okay so yeah i guess the next thing i need to do is make a bunch more of these um let's make another let's say another thousand because we're just using these like crazy but i think that this should work Okay, we're going to leave that open. And we're basically, basically this is it. Uh, um, I don't think I'll do anything more. And we just stand over here and we throw grenades down on the zombos. And I'll I'll just move, you know, from tower to tower. So we'll, we'll fight them for a little while on this tower. Then we'll jump over to the next one and fight them for a little while on this tower. You know, that sort of thing. We need to make sure that that stays like that. Uh, still definitely possible for vultures to get in here, but they should be uh, should be restrict, fairly restricted. 
I could I could even put bars up here. The problem is with doing that is then I would have to take them back down afterwards when we continue the build, which it would, you know, which we could do. I mean, it's not like that big of a deal. So I'll have to give that some thought. And that's really it. Uh, uh, again, you know, we're, we're not going to be totally efficient because they're going to be spread all out all over the place, but I think we can make it work. It's just really a matter of let's just get through Horde Night 70. I don't want to do it a, another Horde Night in a building. You know, I, I'm done with that. And... And just keep keep going. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to cut the camera here, and then I'm going to finish out uh, the the build for the Horde Knight. And then you know the you know the other thing I'm thinking about too is I'm definitely not going to put the bars up there because after we get this set up, we can just can I can just continue building. Um, we'll just keep going up and up, and then like I said, after the Horde Knight 70s over, I'll just come back down here and fill all of this little gap in, or I don't know, maybe we'll leave it here and it, it could always be another option for us, you know, to fight fight the horde. We'll see. If I feel like it's really effective on night 70, I mean, reasonably effective anyways, maybe we will keep that in place. We'll just have to see how it goes. All right, guys, Um, I'm going to cut the camera here. I'll see you in a little bit. guys so i got everything done um i decided that uh, i'm gonna have the outside corners of these towers be steel all the way up to the top just to give it just you know that little bit extra strength um so yeah i think that's pretty much all i'm planning on doing down here for horde 70 and uh, we'll see how it goes i i think we'll i think we'll be able to survive it at least um i'm not expecting it to be super efficient in terms of XP, but um, I, I think, like I said, I think we can survive it and then just continue uh, from here, uh, building the towers and continue, you know, going up. Uh, all right, so the next thing on the agenda is we need to, I need to do a bunch of salvaging um, to get parts to make grenades, springs in particular, but I'm also, you know, relatively low on mechanical parts too. So I'm going to go back to the base, um, put stuff away, kind of get situated, and then I'll meet you guys in town, and we're going to just go start wrenching a crap ton of cars. Okay, guys, we're back at the base here, uh, getting ready to head out again. Um, all right, so we are going to switch up our MO in terms of our tools and weapons. So... Until and unless we come across a purple desert vulture, um, as much as I love the desert vulture, I think we're going to retire this guy. We do need to remember, though, that we should have a 44 Magnum with us whenever we're working with the trader. Um, so what I'm going to do is take and put this green 44 in the cell chest so I always see it in there and remember to take it with us. Um, and we're going to retire, of course, the 44 ammunition. And I think, I think I'm also going to retire the pistol for now, too. Um, and it's not, it, well, it's because, you know, I want... I need the room on the toolbar, but I also need room for more ammunition. And what we're going to do, we're going to continue using the crossbow for stealth because it is the ultimate stealth weapon. We're going to continue using the two SMGs. 
Um, you you know, we arguably don't even need the shotgun either. Yeah. So I think I'm going to retire the shotgun for now. Again, none of this stuff is set in stone. It we I, I always reserve the right to change my mind later. But for now, let's also retire that. And what's going to take its the place of that stuff is this um, purple M60 that we um, got in a... I, can't, I don't remember where we got it. I think we got it in loot, maybe? Or maybe we got it for a prize. A reward after a quest a few, several episodes ago. And I've just been kind of sitting on it. Um, let's go ahead and just repair everything, too, because we got plenty of repair kits. So that way, well, that one's in pretty good shape. We'll repair this and this one for sure. Okay, now, um, can I make the drum magazine or did I get that? No, I can't make it. Okay. Automatic Weapons Handbook, Volume 4 is what we need to make that. So, um, this is going to do 82.4 damage and 537 rounds per minute. So, I think if we, keeping in mind that I am, mathematics is not my strong suit. If we just take 82.4 and multiply that by 537, this weapon does 45,168.8 damage per minute. Okay, so I'm going to write that number down, 45,168. All right, now let's get, let's take the drum mod off of here and put it onto here. And we'll put the reflex, a reflex site on there. We will put um, the crip, well, no, let's put the, let's put, well, let me see what I have in here actually. Reflex sight. Don't really care about the laser sight so much. What I do want is this thing. Uh, the foregrip mod. Can we make that? Yes, we can. Okay, let's make a foregrip mod. Oh, yeah, I've been making all that stuff in there. Okay, so let's track that. So we need forged iron. We need five glue. Uh, which... Do I have glue? I'm going to have to make some glue. Let me go grab some water here. five mechanical parts and ten springs which I'm completely out of okay well in that case what we're gonna do then is we're just gonna take this one off of here temporarily and I'll make another one to put back on there okay so we'll modify that put this on here and then we want to we want a rad remover for the last thing can we make a rad remover yes we can okay so let's track that Pretty much want to have a rad remover on just about everything. Oh, well, definitely on our main weapons anyways. We're going to need more glue for that. Oh, shit, we can't... Okay, we can't do that either because we need springs. Okay, so in that case, let's just take the rad remover. Um, neither one of these guys had rad removers on it, did it? That's got one... Okay, that does not have one. Hmm, I thought I had... Okay, well, shit, let's just take it off of here for now. Let's 
sucker takes so long to reload. Is it fully at full capacity? Yes, it is. Okay, so it holds 120 with the drum. Okay, so let's look at this. So this does 115.7 damage at 440 rounds per minute. So let's do the math on that one. 115.7 times 440. That's 50,908. Uh, okay, yeah, that's substantially more. It's about 5,000 more damage per minute than the SMG does. Um, and we have twice the number of uh, rounds in the drum because this will only hold 60 with the drum. This holds 120. So this is now definitely our main weapon. Absolutely going to be our main weapon moving forward. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll make that blue. This is our baby, man. Okay. Um, this, of course, will be our secondary fallback weapon. And I will make a rad remover mod. Uh, let's put that on there and... We could put the we could put a silencer on there if we want to because it's not gonna matter. Uh, or we could put the muzzle brake, which will help with the kickback. Or we could put a cripple mod. Yeah, let's do the muzzle brake. I think. Um, this does 62, 61. And I think we're going to retire the second SMG also. Again, for now. Not necessarily forever. So we got this, we got this, we got this. Just looking to see what I what I had died there. Oh, and we still have our sniper rifle too. In fact, yeah, let's take and put the die on that. Can't hardly really tell the difference. But yeah, okay, cool. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. This actually could stand to be repaired also. Do we have a rad remover on this? We don't. Okay. I'm probably going to take the Kriplim off and replace it with a rad remover. Because this doesn't affect, oh, uh, that that's just limbs, right? That's not heads. Let's just confirm that. Chance to cripple a leg. Oh, it's only legs. It's not even arms. Okay. Yeah, so I would definitely prefer to have a rad remover on here. We need a rad remover on here. That one has one. That one has one. I don't even know if you can put that on a knife. But if you can, I would take the bunker buster off. In fact... Is there something else better we could put on there? We already have a serrated blade. Weighted head mod. Knives and machetes do not have a head that can be weighted. Yeah, we can't put that on there at all. So I think, yeah, I think that's probably as good as that's going to get. Okay, so you're fully loaded. You need to be fully loaded. You need to be loaded. And what that does now is that leaves us more toolbar slots. Because um, I'm constantly having to switch out, you know, those tools. We could keep these on the toolbar. And then probably the salvage tool. Because we, we, don't, we, we don't really use the nail gun at all when we're out doing POIs. We will use the shovel on occasion, though. So we could switch these two out. Very good. Okay, let's go and put all these additional mods away and some of these we'll be able to use now to put on stuff to sell later um i don't need all of uh, this cobblestone so let's put that in here and we have lots of room now for 
ammunition. We're not using the shotgun for now, so we'll put that ammunition back in there. What I'm going to actually start doing, too, is I'm going to use armor-piercing rounds in here. And, you know, we have some SMG turrets. So um, all of this normal 9mm ammo will start, you know, throwing in those when I get them, eventually when I get them set up. Okay, good. Um, so now we want to load up on 7.62s. So right now we have three full stacks. I think we'll probably carry four full stacks and two stacks of armor piercing. Let's make some more armor piercing too, by the way, of nine millimeters. And eventually we'll probably even use nine millimeter, or I'm sorry, 7.62 armor piercing. Uh, but for now, we'll just use, you know, what we what we currently have. There we go. Bullet tip gunpowder casing. Oh, I didn't grab casings. Yeah, yeah let's make a thousand of those. Okay. So I think that sets us up with our new MO for weaponry. They must have, yeah, they must have fixed that because wasn't this not working correctly, this reflex sight in um, the earlier versions of Alpha 21, I think. I think it wasn't, so it looks like they fixed that. That's cool. Okay, good. All right, guys, we are ready to rock and roll. Um, so I have in my inventory 10 hackers. We already have maxed out salvage ops, which is a perception. So that's maxed out there. Uh, we do have three more points. So let's get healing factor all the way up. And I think what I'm going to, you know, I, I got to thinking about this. I think the thing that's going to be the most useful to us now that we've gotten what I consider the essential perks learned is going to be the lock picking lock picking you could argue that better barter would be good too and i wouldn't disagree with you but we just don't need money and, and we're gonna we're still gonna be able to make a, a gob of money later and we can all we're gonna get more points to put in this later so i think lock picking makes the most sense just because you've seen how frustrating <laughs> It can be sometimes when you're trying to open something and it takes 30 freaking lockpicks to open it. Uh, wall safe in the hospital a few episodes ago. Um, so, yeah, I think that'll be, we'll, we'll get that up. And then we'll probably do um, well insulated. And then after that, probably better barter. But right now the points are just whatever. They, we, we've got it, what I consider to be the most essential um, ones done. Okay, so let's go ahead. Uh, we're going to take the cruiser this time. Uh, do you have any gasoline in you? You don't. Okay, let's grab some gas. Um, we'll grab, like, these are, like, stacked gas. And we're going to head to town, and we're going to just start wrenching the crap out of cars. And we'll also hit, you know, cop cars and, and do those. I have my lockpicks with me. Ooh, I'm glad. Oh, yeah. Right? Do I? Yeah. Okay, I'm glad I checked. Uh, so I'll see you guys in town.